gonna knock the shit out of ISIS. I don't give a damn. They're ripping the shit out of the sea. You can tell them to go themselves. A profane but nevertheless funny Donald Trump energized the standing room only crowd Thursday night after cramming four mix and mingle events into a single day. It was the most frenetic pace of his entire campaign. By the time Trump hit the stage, I've done five of these today in different forms. Do you think this is fun? He appeared winded. Do you think this is fun? Ted Cruz also grew exasperated by a question about his dual Canadian. So, you see one example, this is one little big video clip of Donald Trump cursing profusely throughout the campaign. I'll be back. The Democrats have to now decide whether they will continue defrauding the public with ridiculous bullshit. And that was just the other month. And I didn't hear Rick Wilds complaining about Donald Trump saying stuff like that. Hold on, let me see if I can find some more stuff. The shit out of ISIS also. Rosie O'Donnell's disgusting. I mean, both inside and out. I'd like to take some money out of her fat ass pockets. Whoever the hell bought this mic system, don't the son of a bitch to put it in. I'll tell you, you shouldn't pay the pass, sir. But it's political bullshit. She said he's a pussy. And you can tell them to go themselves. You're not going to raise that fucking price, you understand? This is you motherfuckers. We're going to catch you. What kind of people do we have running for office? Yes, sir. Holy mackerel. They're sending people that have lots of problems, and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. Planish the Such a nasty trust one. fund by making sure that we have... Written by a nice reporter. Now the poor guy, you got to see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said. Oh, I don't remember. He's going like, I don't remember. I thought, oh, maybe that's what I said. This is 14 years ago. He still... They didn't do a retraction. I moved on her, and I failed. I admit it. Whoa. I did try and <laughs> She was married. It's huge news, Sarah. No, no, Nancy. Yeah. No, this was... And I moved on her very heavily. In fact, I took her out furniture shopping. She wanted to get some furniture. I said, I'll show you where they have some nice furniture. <laughs> I took her out furniture. I moved on her like a bitch. But I couldn't get there. And she was married. Interesting. Interesting. So you're going to tell me that Rick Wiles did not know that Donald Trump used this level of profanity before he voted for him and throughout the whole time that he's been in office. So now, because he said G.D., he's off the Trump train. Because Donald Trump said that he uh, doesn't have a problem with gay people getting married, which he had already said before the campaign. And I said something like that on the video, you know, on one of my earlier 2016 videos, too. So he has no excuse. He has no excuse. And this is an addendum. When Donald Trump was uh, talking about the bringing rapists, the bringing um, the bad hombres. That was coded racist language. But Rick Wiles didn't care about that. Donald Trump has displayed every bit of his character before us. And Christians overlooked all of that evidence because they wanted what they wanted. Rick Wiles wanted to get rid of, you know, um, what he calls illegal, you know, immigration. And Obama, it turns out, actually had a better immigration plan than Trump did. Trump has created a mess down there on that border. It is a humanitarian crisis. But Rick Wiles can only see the humanitarian crisis is going on over in the Gaza Strip. Interesting. 
interesting. So, I'm going to upload this and I'll be back.